Hello. I'm grateful. How are you? Okay. Uh, what's, uh, can you tell me what's going on? Um, what's your name? My name is uh, Officer Rizdorfer. Rizdorfer, yeah. 790? Yeah. yeah. I'm just here conducting official business. I'm a independent journalist. I'm just working on a story, gathering public information. I'm just checking up on my government workers in the course of their duties. Okay. Uh, the thing is, this is this is a, a school, however. Do you understand that? Of course. I, mean, you, I came here, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't mean to be rude, but yeah, no, I, I, I came just, here for a purpose. Okay. I, I just... They called, so I'm just going to speak to That's them. That's fine. They can and call then, uh, what they want. I want to see what's going on, okay? Mm-hmm. I was the one that played the call. Okay. Okay, so we called because we were trying to, he was by the students. Okay. The person that was at the, over there felt uncomfortable with him recording okay. her. Okay. So they both told him to exit if it was not a student. He doesn't want to show identification either. So we don't know whether he's a student or if he's not a student. And he's recording other people, making them uncomfortable. Okay. So since he didn't want to leave because they told him, that's when we called you. Okay. You, you, what, you want this gentleman to, to leave? Yes. Right. Sir, do you understand what's going on? After, my, after I finish conducting my official business in this public college, then I'll leave. That's yeah. what I plan on doing. Okay. I just asked this lady if she could help me conclude my business, well, what's and she came to speak to you. So right now, I'm waiting for her to finish talking to you yeah, well, exactly so that I can... What's, what's the business? I would like to file a four-year request through the New York State law. Before you have a right to file a public records request for this public entity. So that's what I'd like to do. You're the assistant director, so I want to submit my four-year with you. I understand that you may not fulfill the four years here, but I have the right to submit it for you here. And you would just oh, forward and you're it to. Me to fill that out? You couldn't just come to us? I record all my business with the government, ma'am. It's my, it's my civic duty as an American, and it's my constitutional right to record you in the course of your duties. The same way I can record them. We I mean, we're recording you too. That's fine. I mean, look, there's cameras all over this building. It's the First Amendment, ma'am. And these gentlemen, these gentlemen swore to protect my rights. So I'm not committing well, a crime. Just, I'm not being violent. Their rights too. Not being violent. It just we're just trying to figure out the best way to figure. It. I mean, I think I think if there was more training on a state level, that the American citizens could record them in the course of their duties, then hopefully they will feel they a little bit more comfortable. Good. Like, okay, I know he has the right to do that as long as he's in public, from public, and he's being peaceful, which I have been this whole time. Peaceful, but just what I'm trying to figure out is what you, you said you were trying to. What was your business here? Exactly. To gather public information, yeah. take pictures of the campus, well, and... That, I don't know if you're going to be able to just go take pictures no, of the campus. No, I already did. Take I did pictures that. Of everything and everything. So I was actually on my way out. Yeah, okay. One of the last pieces of business that I have is to, con to submit a four-year request. Four-year request. Mm-hmm. What would that be? Has anybody ever done that? Uh, we have never done that. If you can give me a piece of paper and a pen, I'll fill out my four-year and I'll submit it with you. I would just need a, a stamp copy for my records. We don't have any stamp here. All those business that you're talking about, those That's are fine. conducted on the daily campus. That's fine. If you can just give me a copy, you don't have to time date stamp it. I'm going to write the time on it anyways. So you just want a piece of paper with pen? Mm -hmm. I'm going to submit a four-year request, which is, is, I believe it's a legal document to request public records. Um, the state worker that worked in that common area, she took a picture of me. So I want to request that. So you, so because somebody took a picture, you want to Because a state them. employee in the course of their duties took a picture of me. Just like I could re request your body camera, you guys work for the public, and in the course of your duties, okay, but I mean, she okay. created a public document, but so why, as a... Why, okay, but what's the purpose of all this? You too. Transparency, accountability, checks and balances. But for who? I mean, I understand what you're trying to do, but like, why do you have to, these, these, these people just work here. You understand? Everybody's just working. It's, it's already, it's tough I didn't, enough. I didn't say anything. It's tough enough for everybody, you know? To the course of, you understand that, right? Everybody here is working. Everybody just trying to pay the bills. So, I mean, if, if you want to... That's why... Right to certain things, that's yes. why I've been peaceful. That's why I'm not that. cursing nobody out. I'm not violent. I understand. Like, I'm okay. peaceful How because I understand we, that. Is there anything we could do to solve this peacefully? This way you could... I mean, there's no crime here. You guys enforce law. There's no crime being committed. I mean, if he just wants a piece of paper and paper, yeah. I could give you could, him the is that piece what you, is that okay? of paper. I get, I get. Uh, I mean, just, and it's not... A, the thing is, once once they, they establish the fact that you're trespassing... You're not trespassing yet. It's public. I'm not... You, I'd have to commit a crime in order to be trespassed from no, public. No, You could just... You're just going to ask me to be public while I'm conducting business for no reason? If they feel uncomfortable here, they could do that. They, they haven't requested it. Right? Somebody right feeling uncomfortable is a crime? I, my, 
my rights end where their feelings begin? What if they didn't like the way I looked? I have to. I can't be here because the way I look. Well, you, you go to a restaurant or something, right? It's a public place. But if they don't want to serve you, a restaurant is a public place. Yeah. I don't. You don't, you don't have to. I don't know any public restaurants. Do you have any idea on you, sir? You want to give that to me or no? No. You don't. Okay. No. Unless I'm being suspected of a crime. Oh. Right. No, That's you're not. Yeah, right. So. They gave you a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you want? Do you want to make your form? You want to complete your... Would you mind writing down everybody's name and badge number? Before I'll write me? mine. Would you mind? I'll do mine, yeah. I don't want to write everybody else now because this is... This is my assignment. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to give you my name, okay? Okay, sure. You guys don't carry yeah. business cards? No, we don't. I'll give okay. you mine. Ma'am, can I get your name and badge number, please? Malave, M-A-L-A-V-E. Shield 1117. Nice. nice to meet you. Thank you. Yours? Hold 317. Oh, that's a unique name. What's your name? I'm Good Guy Activism. I'm sorry? Good Guy Activism. That's your, your last name is Activism? That's what people call me, Good Guy Activism. Oh, what, what, what's your real name, if you don't mind me asking? That's cute. Okay. You don't want to give us your name? No, no, no. I'm anonymous. I'm is that your name? You what's your name, sir? Yeah. Vargas. 294. Vargas, 294. Yes. Thank you for being professional. Identifying yourself. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> Good so as always, they're gonna come babysit a law-abiding citizen conducting business over feelings, but what can we do, excuse me? No crime being committed, no disruption, nothing. One, two, look at this picture. This is a picture right here. I was granted access. That way? I was granted access. I was granted access. People that work here. You think I hopped over that gate? But I know I'm asking. Well, you can ask them. We'll investigate. Thank you. You can't go in there again because you have to be a student. So SUNY's, is this a closed, is this a closed campus to students only? You have a WCCID. Yeah, WCCID card. Okay. Well, I'm the public. I was granted access. Okay. I mean, right, like I said, right now, you, now you have the information. Now you know that you can't go back in there. Let me read that sign. If you do not have a valid ID card, please see the information desk in the lobby, which is what I did. Okay. And I, I stated you, my purpose was to conduct business on campus. Well, you're good now, but same take way, pictures. You're good, you can't go back in the So lab. SUNY and CUNY is open to the public if the public is conducting business, which is what I'm doing. Yeah, well, you're not conducting It's like Maritime College, Lehman College, college they're all conduct, SUNY and you CUNY. Can, you can do right now. What do you have to do over there, right? You have to, you have to fill out a form? Yeah. Can you do that? I'm also... I told you part of my business is to watch my government employees in the course of their duties. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, your government employees could actually be fighting. I know. I, I you know. know there's no crime here. That's why I don't understand no, why you're still what here. I'm, what I'm trying to say is that what if there's an emergency, we're all here. For no okay. crime. What, but we have to come here because we were called here. What if there's an actual emergency someplace else and somebody needs help and now we're all here? Do you, Did you ever think about that? Do you guys stay where there's no crime being committed? I'm not, I'm not a threat to nobody here. I'm here conducting they, they official business. Because they, they feel like you're a threat because you went inside the classroom before. I'm telling everybody here, on the record, I'm not a threat to okay. anybody here. I'm well, here to just conduct business. Peaceful. I understand that. But you, you and I was actually on my right. way out, too. Okay. This, is my, this is like one of my last pieces of okay. business. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure you guys aren't trying to like, there's no confusion. I was in the public hallway yeah. taking pictures of the class. I didn't disturb the class. I didn't go into any classrooms. Yeah, that's area, the thing. That I was granted access. Yeah. 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 I was granted access. Under deceiving circumstances. Deceiving? Yes. Yeah. You, have no you gotta open you gotta open your mind, sir. 
You got to open your mind. Lose that disdain. You got to lose that ego. Lose that ego. I don't need to. It's public. It's public. I was granted access. But, you know, sometimes when people go into places and shoot up the places with firearms and stuff. So Listen, I'm not going to feed into your blue line. I'm not going to feed into your blue line paranoia. I just said multiple times I'm here peacefully. There's cameras everywhere. You guys are only minutes away, so... We're here for the safety of the students. Not, not and my safety as well, right? Everyone. My safety as well, right? And to protect yes, my rights. Yes. And yeah, to protect their that. rights. Right. So you realize that, I mean, right now, next time you just can't go in that area, okay? Sir, I went to the front desk. Yeah, I stayed in my business yeah. and I was granted access. Okay. And I was only in, a, and I was only in the public areas. So maybe the person who got you just weren't aware, but next time, next time. No, he was aware. I told him. So I'm here to conduct business. I'm. Today you did nothing wrong. I don't commit crimes, sir. The gentleman asked me what was my business. I said I'm an independent journalist working on a story. I want to gather some pictures of the of the of the campus, and then I'll be on my way. And I'm going to do a four-year request. I'm just, I'm just want to tell you in the future if you come here. If, if this, I can't go there unless they access me. Unless I, if I hop over that gate without them giving me access, that's trespassing. Yes. Okay. I was granted access because I was conducting business. That's why the gentleman let me in. He knows what he's doing. He knows that I'm here to conduct business, and he knows that the public can come as long as the public is conducting business. Who's this gentleman you speak of? The front desk, the guy that gave me, and the security guard that granted me access. What do you tell him? Excuses. Yes. If you don't listen, if you want to have a conversation, lose the ego. I'm a lose your ego. No, I'm having because a I'm a I'm an American conducting business at a public entity. I'm and an you, American doing my, my job. Right, right. But I don't pay you to have disdain towards me. You can hide it. I don't have any disdain you, towards you. You can show it after you leave. You. you don't have to show it in front of me. You can show it after you leave. Okay. What? Show your disdain after you leave. No, I don't have to. Not in front of me. You don't have to show you, show me your ego, sir. It's okay. You didn't answer the question. You're deviating from the question. I don't like the way you... I, what kind of... What did you tell the, the gentleman that... What was your, your reason to be here and to let you through? When you had no ID, I'm a, you know, student? I'm a, nobody asked me for ID. And I don't give IDs to enter public places. This isn't a private place. It's public. That part, they don't, nobody asked me for ID. Look, he's plying. He's conspiring. Just want to get this conversation. No, sir. We're, we're, uh, so you guys are in public. You're in public. Why is Vargas conspiring to violate my rights? He's fishing. He's fishing. You know he's fishing. There's no crime. What's your policy when you visit him? Um, well, you can, you can walk. You do have to have an ID. You have to have an ID. But um, if you just want to go into a tour, maybe we do let you in. Um, as long as you can. You know, just going to public access. Okay. There is no, no, no uh, private offices. Okay. Exactly. Exactly what I said. They think the they think the citizens are stupid. They they expect us not to know our rights. Ma'am. Ma'am. Today's the twenty seventh, right? I just want to make sure.
stay in the chain. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. The lady, Kathy, what's her last name? Craft. Craft, G-R. She took a picture of me. I just wanted to request it. G-R-A-F-F. -F. Thank you. G-R-A-F-F. -F. She's, she's upset that I got her business card. <laughs> Wait till she sees, she has to give us that picture. Oh, Mr. Cook is here. Mr. Joseph Cook. That's Joseph Cook right there. Can I please get a copy of this for my records? A copy. Do you know who you'll be sending it to? I, I believe it's either HR or legal. Sir, just one question. There was a card you took before, a business card. Would you be able to give that back to me? That's what I'm asking. It's public information. Yeah, but... There was, it was on the desk. I understand, but that doesn't mean that you had the right to take it. Just do me a favor. That's all I'm asking. You really trying to, like... No, I'm not trying to, trying to bait you. I'm going to get her name with that for your request. You could get her name. Her you could business. ask her name, but there was a business card here. There's somebody that wants it back. She wants a business card back? Yeah, that's all I'm asking. Okay. I was actually looking forward to 
Let's see. Is that private? Is her business called private property? It's actually it's it's, it's private property. I mean, it was on. I know. I, I understand that. I it's understand for that display for the public. I just for back. I'll do you the favor. Thank you got a bottle of water in your car? That don't care. That's the only favor I would ask. Sorry? That would be the one favor in return that I would ask for yeah, a bottle okay. of water. Summertime's coming, man. You got to get some water in case you run across somebody that's dehydrated. You know what I mean? Thank you so much. Can I get the number to the um, the division that you're sending to? Do you have the number for HR? We can literally just Google that. Like, or legal? There's no legal here. No, I'm saying. Because of... I think you, you would forward it to who handles your foils. Your public records request. I don't know what request. that would be, but it would be something that I would have to look for at the main campus. Uh, but all of that is public information, as you may already know. Right, right. I was I was just hoping to get the phone number while I'm here, so that way I could follow up on, on the request. And... Unless you want me to sit down and uh, try to find you a number, yeah. I wouldn't be able to give it to you. Like Do you right have now. the main number for Valhalla? Yeah. Thank you. And they, they'll direct me to HR, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'll do this officer a favor because he's, you know, he's he investigated properly. He he listened, you know. He didn't show no this thing. You can have Just all the numbers bit. there for all the extension centers as well as the main campus. Okay, thank you so much. Is Mr. Cook available to speak? I don't have a card anymore. So I don't know where it's not. I must have dropped it. That's why I went to her and asked her what her name was because I don't have a card anymore. I don't know what it's at. I can't find it myself. I wish she could take her actions back and the way she treated me back. She's not worried about that. She's worried about her business card. Let's see. Let me check my other pockets. Can you please? No, I don't know where it's at. I must have dropped it in the hallway or something. Well, it might be in my paperwork. Let's see. What is she? What's the big deal about a business card? Just worried that it's gonna be information gonna be posted online. Her information is posted online. Yeah. Thank you. Her public information is going to be posted online. She's a public servant. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Civil rights are protected. That's funny. I just want to ask for a folder, please, if you have one, so I could take this stuff with me. So I thank you for being professional today and knowledgeable of what your job is, you know. I appreciate it. Will Mr. Cook speak with me? Still over there. Okay, no worries. I was wondering, one of the questions that I had was the pantry. Is that for students only? Yeah. Okay. All right. Is it is it SUNY students only? Because what if you like a student of SUNY matter of time? It's for the students that are currently enrolled at the school. Oh. So in this case, yes, it would be for SUNY students or any other students that we have that are actually doing the high school program. So you could have students from other SUNY colleges receive it, right? Uh, not necessarily, no. Okay. So just, um, just West as a community center. I'm sorry? Just West as a community. Correct. All right.
Don't get on me for giving her her card back. I'm trying to be nice, okay? <laughs> I know I'm going to get some. I know I'm going to hear it about that. But, you know. I don't want her to cry. Is there anyone I can set up an uh, appointment with a uh, um, enrollment specialist? So this is very much our front line. We are an extension of the main campus. So if you do want to speak with enrollment, you can go to the admissions office located on the main campus. The same piece of paper that I gave you has the address. What if I can't make it there? <clears throat> then you will speak to one of us here. Okay, can I set up on a, you guys do Zoom? There's no appointments. So you come to the front, you ask whatever questions you need, and we'll provide you with the information that you need. I don't know. I was looking for a pamphlet that covered each course or each, like, everything that you guys have here. I see you got fashion, science. Does, do you have, We're like, a... about the classes? Yeah, like, do you have, like, a, a pamphlet that goes in-depth and what, what kind of no, classes you have? the classes that we have for the summer and then in terms of all of the classes that the college actually covers you can find that on our website if somebody didn't have a gd but they wanted to take do you guys have a program we have that a 24 credit program that they can do or they can just come in with their ged and they'll take them if they I'm, what i what i was asking is if they don't have a gd but they want to they can do the 24 credit program here yeah. okay so as long as you have 24 high school credits no, no, no. 24 credit program is like when you don't have a high school diploma you do 24 credits at a college level and then you get your gd and some college credits oh so once you finish that those classes you automatically they'll or, thank you, you. Get your GED. thank you so much so you don't you wouldn't have to take the gd test itself for that, you have to contact admissions. There should be some information in that. Um, what it is, we'll handle through the admissions office on the main campus. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so if you don't have a GED, you can still come and take part of the 24 credit GED program. It's sponsored by New York State Department of Education. This is the website, Office of Admissions. Um, how can I file a complaint? I would like to file a complaint with Miss Catherine for the way she treated me. You can, I believe you got Joe's. Joseph um, car, so you can always send him an email back. Would he be able to take my written complaint today, Mr. Cook? I am and that's not why I sure. I believe he went to the bathroom. Oh, he's right there. That's that's just what I want to speak to him about. I just wanted to write out a formal complaint. Please. I just want to write out a formal complaint. All right. So we're almost done. Let's put our stuff away. It's the last piece of business. File a complaint on this lady because completely unprofessional. You know. This lady was very nice. She was like, she was very nice to us. Building minds, building futures, but how they not? This gentleman seems like the only one that was educated on the fact that the public can come and as long as they're not disrupting class, as long as they're not in any private areas. She said he's still taking pictures.
good? Yeah, I was just, I just wanted to file a complaint on this lady with the director. Just wanted to write a formal complaint, that's it. Well, you're not gonna, you can't do that without that? No, I, I don't need you guys' services. There's no crime here. So you, for you, you add another piece of paper? You want me to ask them if you need a piece I, of I wanted to speak paper. with him and because he's the director of the facility. Okay. I was hoping that he'll take my complaint okay. in writing. When he comes back here, we'll speak to him if he can. Yeah, that's he what can, I'm waiting for. If he doesn't, yeah. then, you know. There's a, there's, to hopefully he can give me another channel that I could go through okay. if he doesn't. But you understand, once the business is done here, then... I don't, I mean, I could be here until it closes as long as I'm not, I'm, I'm in a public area. I'm not, just, as long as I'm not impeding their business, you know that. Is that what you plan to do? Do you know, do you know that me and Gay is in a constitutionally protected activity? Let her in, please. Do you know that journalism is official business in public? I can come and watch them for eight hours. As long as I'm peaceful and off to the side, I'm not impeding business. But I, I'm not going to stay here that long. I just want to. Okay. Yeah. We're, wait, we're gonna wait. He's on the phone right now. Yeah. So we say what he says. You know, if they have, if they have a way to make. Was the edu complaint. was the education process hard? It seemed like they were little. What do you mean? It seems like he knew he knows exactly what can and can't be done. The front guy. I hope the director knows what can and what is and isn't allowed. No, we know what's legal and what's not legal. Yeah. You know. Some it just seemed like some people may not know that the First Amendment is protected. Because if it's what if a student is taking pictures in the hallway, you got you guys are gonna chastise a student because no. he's taking pictures. But also you have to be aware that sometimes going to school, the way when there's active shooters and things like that, people have to also be cautious. You understand that too? Right? Yeah, that's why I told them who a, I was and what I was. Yeah. doing. that's why I told them what I was doing and who I was. You know, I'm not hiding anything. I got tattoos on my face, my neck, yeah. my eyes are green. I'm not hiding, sir. Right, I'm, well, I'm not here for no nefarious reasons. We'll just wait for him. You can speak to him. Did you have you spoken with him? No, I'm Where actually waiting. All right. When he's off the phone, I don't know if she wants, she wants to. Wants to she wants to go remind him. Hmm? I don't know if she wants no, to go he's on remind. No, he's speaking with. Oh, okay. He's speaking with somebody right now. Okay. The whole issue was the camera. That's yeah. where the whole issue came from. Not that I was conducting business, because as you can see, they've been helping me with my business. Is that I'm recording my business? Yeah. Okay. You know. He. If I couldn't, if I couldn't conduct business as a member of the public, he would have never gave me access. But he knows as long as I'm here to conduct business, I'm not just loitering, you know. I'm just gonna get his email. I'll uh, email to tell him. Excuse me. Ms. Garcia, can you, can you inform Mr. Cook that I'm going to email him a formal complaint? Okay. If he could just respond to the email, because he seems pretty busy. Okay. All right. I can take this, but I don't have to give it back. All right. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for everything. All right, you're going to get out of here. Thank you. Have a great, what's your name? Oh, sorry. How's it going? Atkins? Atkins. Atkins 155? Yep. Nice to meet you. How are you, sir? Good. I'm grateful. Thank you. Do you, you work You work here? Oh, you work for private security, right? No, I work out there. I was just trying to see how long this has been here. This building's new, right? The building's been here a long time. It's serious. This was serious. Oh, the building? Oh, but it wasn't the college, right? Thank you. We got one, two, three, four, five. Again. Car 203 
Yeah, stay safe, okay? Have a safe tour. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to butter them up. Vargas, he had a little, it's like he wanted to be a tyrant, but he didn't know how to be. So he's like, what, what was your excuse? He, he was rude. He was rude. He's like a little mini tyrant. Three, four, five. Let's count that little security card as six. Hope they don't try to stay around and see what car I'm in or what bus I've taken. We're in Yonkers, shout out to Eli. We in Eli's backyard. He went around this way. All right, we're gonna end this video here. I don't know what the fuck they still doing there. I'm gonna get on out of here.